How's it going everybody? This is Logan. Um, today I'm kind of starting a new YouTube series type of thing. Um, and it's heavily based off of the videos that this Osu YouTuber named Cap Neuer makes. Um, he makes these like Osu discussion videos and I think they are the most entertaining thing in the world, frankly. Uh, they are just so much fun to watch, um, hearing him just talk about whatever topic he wants to. Um, and so today I'd like to make something like that but for like dance games and even maybe even more broader just like arcade rhythm gaming in general um and i feel like we don't quite have stuff like that um to, to my knowledge at least but the exception to that would be sesu he makes these like awesome discussion videos where he recently he's been talking about like ddr world and i think he was talking about ddr a3 when like new stuff was coming out for that um anyhow yeah, we're gonna be making something like that. Uh, this is the first video, so expect this one to be kind of shitty in many ways. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do any editing or if I'm just gonna do this shit in one cut, but um, probably gonna do some editing because I think I'm gonna mess up a lot. Anyways, um, today's topic is something I feel like we all have universal experience with, and is something that has kind of been blowing up lately in like the kind of NorCal Bay Area scene, and that is like kids at the arcade slash like disruptive people at the arcade um and I, again i feel like this is something we like universally have an experience with i feel like whether you're like just starting off or like you've been playing for how long you're gonna have you know some amount of like kids running across the pads or like you're playing singles and they're like playing on the other side right um or like you go, you're like about to select your song and start playing, and then you like go get water. And you turn around, all of a sudden there's a kid on the pad, right? Like, what do you do? Um, I feel like we've all had experiences with that. Um, and unfortunately, many people have had experiences with like adults being disruptive. Because um, obviously, kids don't know better, right? I mean, who's, I don't know how old like we're talking kids. Like, would you call like teenagers kids? I don't think so. But, um, a lot of them, like, they don't know no better, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't quite blame them, but, uh, you can blame their parents for sure. But a lot of times, um, sadly, people do have, like, disruptive, like, adults, like, people who are competent, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're conscious and, like, they're thinking and stuff. Um, people like that being, like, assholes at the arcade, or just being, like, disruptive and stuff. Um, and that kind of recently blew up with uh, Shion's Twitter post. Uh, she posted about how she was at the arcade playing Sound Voltex um, and had a PUC run um, on, on some song. And these people just like ran up on her and just started recording and stuff and putting like the cameras up in her face. And like she was like, stop it. And then they didn't do that. They, they, they just kept on recording to the point where. I guess she messed up and the PUC run was gone. And that is just horrible. Now, what actually struck me hard about like that happening was that it happened at my local arcade, like the one that I go to every weekend, Sun Valley Mall, round one. It happened there. And I saw that and I was like, of course it happened there. That's, that's if there's anywhere it's gonna happen, it's gonna be at Sun Valley in freaking Concord. Um, with all these ghetto people running around, like, it's just horrible and so today I'd like to kind of talk about that um, first I'll talk about my experience um, frankly I haven't had any horrible ones with disruptive adults I've, I've had kids like like run across the pad while I'm playing and stuff um, that that's not too bad the worst one for me was like I had a PFC run on uh, plan 8 ESP the 14 um, at Concord Dave and Buster's on the white cab there um, and you can probably find it in the video if you go and look at my channel planet ESP PFC uh, I had many runs where these kids would just start talking to me while I'm playing they're like oh dude like is that your exercise bro and I'm like yeah hold on give me a moment and like they didn't and I had maybe three or four runs of that song where I'd get to the slowdown, not the slowdown, but like the easy part, right? And then they'd start talking to me, and I'd just start throwing up greats like on like freaking this easy part of the song. 
and it was just so frustrating i'm like dude i actually am feeling comfortable today and here i am getting you know my ass kicked by little kids frankly and so that's why when uh when Shion posted like i'm finally feeling good today and these people just come in here and like be assholes I kind of felt that in a way, but at the same time, that's not quite the same because I was getting disrupted by kids. Xion was getting disrupted by these actual, like, adults who are, like, conscious and shit, you know what I'm saying? And so, that's kind of the, kind of the same, but kind of really isn't the same at the same time. Um, and so, what do you do about, like, disruptive... I think, I feel like kids is, like, there's not much you can do about it besides, like, tell them to not do what they're doing. Um, and maybe like tell their parents like if their parents are watching and thankfully in most cases the parents will be like no get back here type of shit you know what I'm saying um, at least for me you know but I feel like kids is like sort of an easy problem to fix kind of not really but um like adults being disruptive like how do you solve that and I think the first off you need to just start with like asking them not to like do whatever disruptive thing they're doing um if they're like recording intrusively as like in, in Xion's case um then you could just ask like you know please re don't record me but like in a lot of cases like you get a good run going and like they start being disruptive and shit like it's already too late you're already in a good run and so it's like do you do you really want to sacrifice the good run for you know asking them to stop or do you just bear with it and in a lot of cases you can't do what you can't do either they act, i guess in Xion's case you ask them they don't go nowhere if you don't ask them you're gonna mess up but if you try to ask them you're gonna mess up so it's like what do you do um and in a lot of cases like that like it it turns from not what do you do but like how do you prevent this from happening again and i think definitely like telling the security now i'm gonna be totally honest i don't think the security around one will probably do much but but i do think telling them and at least telling a worker at the round one is at least it's a it's worth it you know what i'm saying and then maybe at conquered maybe they won't do much because it's fucking conquered and like they don't really they really don't give a shit there but i i still even despite that i still feel like it's worth telling them just so that the word is out there like there are these disruptive people um hindering and almost to the point of like harassing the people who are like going here to and, and you know actually play um and, and so i think that is a good preventative way to do it um and a lot of cases like they do it once you tell them to leave they'll go but like by then the run is already ruined you know what i'm saying and so i don't know man it's just like it sucks and it, it the whole Shion thing just makes me so much more frustrated because it's in my freaking neck of the woods where i go every weekend i was just there yesterday and i'm probably going to go again today to freaking sun valley um because they have a3 and and the pads are actually pretty good but it just frustrates me like that that shit happens 24 7 there um it's happened i haven't had people disrupt me while i'm playing but i've had people like come up to me and ask for gas like gas not weed but like gas money um and i go and look in the sun valley server not the sun but the bay area discord there's like a dozen people who have been asked for gas money too so it's obviously these like freaking just like people trying to get people for their money and, and so it's like bro and, and it, like they're begging but like inside the round one like why is are you that desperate you know what i'm saying um who knows if they really need the gas money i don't think they need gas money i think they need gas money if you get what i'm saying like not get yeah, not car gas um but like it's like these people are just out here like begging and shit it's, and again if they're desperate man i guess you keep on doing that man if you need to make some money i've seen people give them money 
I, they asked me, and then they went to the people playing 2DX, and I saw them whip out money. I was just like, bro, you guys are cooked. But, um, yeah, I, okay, I don't know, I really don't quite know where to go from this video. But, um, that is DDR Yap Session number one, people on the pads. Um, I really hope that we can kind of find a solution to this, because it's a hard solution to solve, right? Um, but I hope that round one kind of gets better at, like, handling these cases. It's hard, like, how would you handle them, right? That's what I'm wondering. But, um, if there's something that can be done about it, I hope it can be done. Because this is, like, a problem that everyone runs into. And we are, like, the people who are going to round one and, like really investing our time and money into like the games that they have there and um and, and there's a sense of community there right that kind of isn't really found in like any other kind of like games there maybe besides one gone um but like the rhythm game scene plus one gone is like that's that's kind of like the community there you know what i'm saying and to have many community members like disrupted with these freaking people just like being assholes round one should ha like have the not the compulsion but they should f maybe be obligated i don't know again we don't make them like crazy amounts of money so it's like are they really if we're not making them too much money but um i don't know man this is the first ddr discussion video i'm probably gonna edit out Eh, I'm probably gonna edit out a, a crap ton of stuff. It's probably still gonna be 10 minutes long. Um, yeah, uh, catch y'all later. Put in the comments what I should talk about next. Um, yeah, see you guys later. I, I really hope no one gets interrupted at all anymore by adults or kids. Peace out, you guys.